<laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of I have no idea what I'm doing. I am flying through Alaska right now and I wanted to show you guys uh, when I was young, when I was like 14 years old, I had a four-wheeler. I used to ride my four-wheeler along this little path right here and I would actually hit these jumps at like 30 miles an hour. <laughs> and because it's so dry here, uh, you would create like a whole gigantic like dust cloud and cover this entire road. We are actually turning on the road that I used to live down. This is the, <laughs> watch, this is what I used to live down. So as you can see, this guy's in front of us just doing water for, to keep down the dust. I've never seen that. I don't, you'll, find a, you'll see a lot of things that are different. I do not remember that. I remember this house. Oh, there's someone outside. Creepy. So like, see how bumpy this is? Imagine going down this like 30, 40 miles an hour on a four wheeler. And actually I'll show you the spot where my best, where one of my friends actually crashed his four-wheeler and it rolled on top of him and we had to pull it off of him. And then I would hide, they just cleared this out, but I would like hide in here in like camo gear and I would just watch cars go by. I was a weird kid. All right, so this is my old house. It looks like they, did they take down, they tore out my no, old, no, there it is. oh dude, 12 years later. There's my old tree house that I built. We need to go inside it. We need to go talk to these guys. This is my old house. I remember finding an old knife in here and I took it, but they actually thinned everything out. Like when we came here, we actually had like this whole like tree line was all of this up to here. We put these down. These have been here for 11 years. These little rail ties. Mm. We, I had built that little walkway to go to the next door neighbors. There's nobody home right now, but we built that. I built that awning and I built that deck. And I actually painted this house green. That's insane. I used to get up there and like shovel roof or shovel snow off the roof. But now it has like all sorts of um, moss and stuff on top of it. All right, so there's no one home. Me and my dad cleared all of this out like a tree fell on it. Dude, look at this. What, oh, did they board it up? What does that say? This is the stuff that I used to crawl through. What did they put on this? It's a military shipment label. Ah, oh, dude, there's a couch in here. In the coffee can. Oh, there we go. There's like a little opening right here. So let's make our way in here. <laughs> Dude, there's like a bag of something in here. I remember this coffee can. Like I put this all together and you'd like climb up like right over here. Cause I made these little stairs. You see like right there and right there and right there. You'd climb up and then you could just stand on top of it. I don't remember putting this couch in here though. So that's kind of weird. That tree right here is the tree that I climbed. I climbed all the way to the top of that. And I tied myself off with like bungee cord. Or not bungee cord, it was like just like an extension cord. I used to climb that tree on the side of it. That's where we had our garden and it's vacant. So we can just walk back there. This is like walking down memory lane. This is insane. I, I made this little clearing right here. That's the tree that I used to climb. And if you look in the back here, so this is where, if you look like right here, that used to be just like standing water. And there used to be like a ton of mosquitoes and everything that, uh, there used to be a ton of mosquitoes and everything that would breed there. That was my old bedroom window. I'm gonna try to get in there. I called the real estate agent cause it's vacant right now. Oh, the roof is like peeling. The roof's like peeling like crazy hard on the back there. But I used to climb this tree all the time. And then my mom had a garden all right here and then you go all the way back there and you go to like a power line trail and that's where like moose and everything is. So I'm not gonna go back there. <laughs> that's what I would hear if you can hear that squirrel, I would hear that and that's like the pet squirrel that I had. But that was the main tree that I, that was the main tree that I climbed and then that one was the main tree that I climbed. But up there, I don't think they cleaned out the wasp, wasp, wasp nest that I sh shot it down like 10 years ago or whatever it was. Dude, I used to have to, I used to ride my bike all along here. And one of these birch trees, my sister actually ran into when the dog was chasing her. <laughs> but I do remember building that and building that porch. That is insane. How it still has, <laughs> how it still has my little shelter here. That is amazing. That is so amazing. So that little puddle right there is where I used to catch the tadpoles. Because like, I know it's probably different now. It'll probably go up to like my knee, but I walked through that one day and it went up to my waist and I was just like walking and I went bloop and I was like, oh my God. And then I just went back to go investigate it and there was some tadpoles. So there you go. That's something you know now. This guy's got a weird like Alaskan thing. There's the North Pole, the North Pole Pole, the Screaming Weasel gift shop. <laughs> what? 
Hey, look, Gorilla Fireworks. I totally forgot about that. There's Gorilla Fireworks and Budget Fireworks. I used to go there and get all my fireworks. And that's when I almost blew my hand off. I remember that. And look at this. This is so sad. That's the old Blockbuster sign. I missed coming to Blockbuster by like three months. Look at this. How much is gas here? Three, three, two, go. What are you doing? Do you not know how a roundabout works? Yeah, they have the right of way. You go. You have to wait. No, you don't. You go. It's called. Where do you want me to go? Just keep going this way. We'll go by Santa Claus house. Okay. Oh, the old Blockbuster got turned into a Verizon store? Verizon just opened since I've been here. Boo. Boo. Oh, there's the little outlaw tamales. Look at this 24 hour pay at the pump. I remember that. Pizza Hut. The post office in yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And by the, uh, I remember Firewalk still been there. Pizza Hut still there. The um, there should be a subway. That was where Jessica first went. Yeah. That's my sister's first job. Was at that subway. You can't see it. Uh, Taco Bell, Country Cow. I don't know what that is. The bakery wasn't there. That's new. Here's the here's the what do you call City it? Hall. City Hall. Hey, look, there's City Hall. Get your face out of it. Taco has that. Forever. No, yeah, that, that was food factory. Yeah, that was food factory. And then one of these is a tanning salon, but now that changed. This is new here. A family farm. Oh, what is that? There's a. Is that no? What is that? That's a dental. dental. Dental place. Here's the post office. Kim Bjornstad owns that coffee shop. Look at that. There's a coffee shop right there, or a post office coffee shop. I remember this, and then I remember riding down here on my four wheeler on the road. There's Wells Fargo, that's been there for 800 years. This is the park that my little sister had like one of her birthdays at. Yeah. That hasn't changed. Do you remember that? That's the first time I came back. I got stuck at that swing. Because <laughs> Bert made me get in it. He's like, look, I'll push you. And then we're gonna turn left and we're gonna go, well, if you keep going straight, that's down near the library. Well, new library's way up there. They got the brand oh, new really? library. You wanna go see it? Here, this is a Santa Senior Center. Yeah, the Santa Senior Center. I remember that. Yeah. So, what... I think what a lot of people don't know is that this whole town is, like, touristy. Almost everything has, like, a North Pole theme. Like, if you look right here, there's, like, candy canes on the light poles. Well, this guy's gonna go up. We're gonna see an accident. Do you wanna see the magnetic pole? Yeah. Oh, is that it right here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I didn't remember that. You don't? Oh, yeah. So what church is down here? Is there a church down yes, here? Yes, that's you're the church that you wanna go to. No, right here. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, somewhere. Where's the church at? The worship center? The, or whatever. I don't know. This is, this, is the this is the magnetic north pole. So a lot of people say, a lot of people, Isaac, come out and see it. So a lot of people actually think like the North Pole is like. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. So a lot of people say that like the North Pole is like the actual North, North, North Pole, but it's actually the magnetic North Pole. And this is the pole for it. <laughs> so if you had a compass in your hand and you walked all the way around this, in theory, it should always point north at this exact spot. This is so weird being here. Cause it's like, this kid over here is like seven and he's just starting his life. And I have already lived that part of my life here. And it's so weird to watch that happen. All right, so remember how I said that this place is super touristy? Might I introduce you to the Santa Claus house? It has like the world's biggest Santa Claus right there. They look like they redid it. Oh, they built, this thing's it's new. All new. It's all, they all this, so this, this whole thing's new. I don't know what this is. That's the old one that I know. So let's go in here and go take a look and see what treasures behold us.
So this whole dining area thing is new, because I do not remember this. I remember it coming around this way. Without a phone call, a card, or a comment, I texted to come you. Come back and see me. I texted you. Didn't you didn't text it. me back. Didn't get it. See, that's that's you. Okay. What's your number? What's my number? Yes. It oh. is. It is Santa Claus Lane 901. Oh, there you go. If you guys want to text him, text him. Do the, it. The real official Santa Claus, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, here at the Santa Claus house. 907-555-5555. Oh. Look at these guys. They're just hanging out. If you've never seen a real reindeer, you can actually come here and see a real reindeer. Look at them all. They're all over the place. Look at them all. Look at how cute. Meh. Is that the sound they make? Meh. The fact that he's like all patchy doesn't mean anything. He's, he's basically shedding his winter coat so that way he doesn't overheat. I believe. It does look like mange, <laughs> but it does look like there's something wrong with him, but I'm 98% sure that that's what's happening. So funny story, this guy actually fell over one year when I was here, and I guess that's why they have him like anchored down now, like right there. So that was a cool thing that happened because one year he was gone. All right guys, so this is where I used to come to like just hang out. This is like the only mall. Like this is it, this is the mall. <laughs> That's the end of it. And there's Safeway. Whoa. Oh, whoa. If you stand here, come here, come here. Come here. Stand in here. Listen. Do you hear that? La 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 la. Do you hear that? That sounds weird. Oh, that's cool. Da. Acoustic reverberation. All right, guys. So, like an idiot, I didn't do an outro. <laughs> I'm having that problem here a lot. Like, it is three o'clock in the morning right now. It's still bright outside. Like, it's, it's, it's bright. I don't understand. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. If you guys want to see something special here, let me know if you guys have questions. I'm throwing a ton of pictures out on my Instagram at what Zach does. You can follow me on Facebook. The pictures goes on there as well. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm having a blast up here. I'm gonna be up here for about another week and a half, two weeks and then I'm gonna be on the eight hour, six hour flight home and I'm not looking forward to that. But you know what to do. Subscribe if you have not already. Leave a like if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next video.